the best place to learn what things to buy at Dollar Tree to sell on websites like eBay and Amazon. My name is Blake, and that's just an accent. I want to teach you what things to buy uh, because I know we all need extra money. And if you watch this video, no matter how the items change, no matter how much they raise in price, you're still going to be able to have a viable side hustle. We're going to go through sections of each store and explain why they're good to buy to resell. Let's go. The first section I want to talk about is books. Why are books good to resell? Well, there's a few reasons. The first is they're very easy to look up. You can do this three ways. By title, by the ISBN or the barcode, or by scanning the cover of the book using the Amazon seller app. You can see it in the video right there. Books are great because they're usually in great condition and the only thing you have to worry about is if there is a remainder mark on the bottom of the book or maybe a cut on the back cover. This is what distributors do when they take books off the shelf in retail stores like Walmart, for example, uh, because they don't want resellers to sell them as new. So if that is the case, you cannot sell it as new. Uh, generally, these books go for between seven and $15, and because they're books, they ship media mail, so you can save money on that. I also want to bring up that if you sell these books on Amazon for media, there's an additional $1.80 fee that you're not gonna have on eBay or other marketplaces. So if you're selling books on Amazon, don't look at gross revenue, look at profit. So that's gonna be the cost of the sale minus fees minus shipping, not just the cost of sale minus shipping. The next section that holds pretty big profits at Dollar Trees and most dollar stores is the toy section. Now, instead of saying these toys are the ones you wanna buy, I'm gonna give you rules to source by. So make sure the toys are gonna be branded or licensed toys. So like Matchbox cars, Hot Wheels products or cars, Disney minifigs, things that have keyword strength not unbranded random pedal balls but things that people are searching for online not because of what they are but because of what they represent i would have called this monopoly game and the guess who game next to it car games when i was growing up you put them in the car you played that way uh, but i don't think that's the keyword that's often being searched so we're going to call them monopoly travel board games and so what we're doing now is using monopoly or guess who as keywords to drive traffic to our, our, our cheap items that we can make a small profit off of. Another hack you can do is bundle these things. So the biggest cost on most Dollar Tree items is shipping. If you can bundle Monopoly, Guess Who, and whatever other games they have, you can lower the cost of shipping per item by bundling. Bundling is a great way to maximize your profits. And so what I recommend is that anything you're bundling, shoot for four or five items, you can sell for 20 bucks plus about five bucks shipping, and that way you will maximize your profits. Paper goods and party supplies are another great option for bundling. If you can create a birthday set for a young boy or girl, you're saving the parent time and being rewarded with profit. Dollar Tree has tons of cheap, obviously, party supplies, so it's up to you to find a creative bundle that you can charge more money for. Another tried and true item you can resell and bundle is candy. And that's because of the variety of items there are. What I think is a great thing to start off bundling is either seasonal or gummies. Specifically, Haribo gummies like you see earlier in the video. Haribo gummies are great because they are extremely loved by lots of people. They're delicious, made in Germany, very good. Uh, and they have a large variety of different flavors and shapes. You can bundle five of those, sell them for 20 bucks, and you're making an easy profit. To make sure you have the right bundle though, or the right idea, what you wanna do is go on eBay and check sold listings. You can also go on Amazon and check sales rank, but if you're a beginner, I say stick to eBay. If you want to sell food on Amazon, it's a little bit trickier. It's a gated category, but I have a video that explains how to get past that. I'll put it in the description. The next category is not one you're going to hit on all the time, but when you do, it's going to be huge profits. And that's the collectible section. In most Dollar Trees, it's off in the corner of the store, uh, and it usually doesn't have good stuff. But as you can see here, at one time, there were Fortnite trading cards. Uh, I've seen football cards, basketball cards, NBA hoops, or absolute football. When you can buy those, they sell for four to five times the retail price because they are extremely in demand. And as you can see in the back of the store, they have a lot of stuff they don't put out. So make sure you make friends with the cashiers because they know about a week or two in advance when they're getting trading cards or sports cards. Trading cards are another thing you absolutely want to bundle. If it might sell for $5 on eBay, almost all of that goes to shipping. So what you wanna do is put as many as you can in a secure package that weighs as close to a pound 
as possible. That's the limit for first class mail. And in most cases, that's gonna be your best bet. I also want to point out that you can go above one pound for any of these bundles, but you wanna make sure you are as close to the upper limit of the one pound increment as you can. So 15 ounces, one pound, 15 ounces, two pound, 15 ounces, et cetera, et cetera, because that's how you get the best deal, obviously. I save the best for last. This item, DVDs, as you can see on the screen, is by far the most profitable, both in terms of what one item might sell for and overall profits. I sell thousands of dollars of Dollar Tree DVDs a year, both on eBay and Amazon. You can bundle Blu-rays, you can sell individual titles. It really is quite limitless. But the issue is, is finding out what's profitable. I'd say about 20% probably of Dollar Tree DVDs are profitable. And to help people like you, I have a list you can subscribe to. It's about 25 bucks a month for the lowest tier. If there are, are not a lot of Dollar Trees around you, don't buy this list, just source them yourself. But if saving two or three hours means you can source 10 more stores, absolutely i think that this list is worth your time much like grocery dvds are a gated category on amazon you can still sell them on ebay bundled by genre or just blu-rays but if you want to sell them on amazon you have to have an invoice from a verified distributor i have a video on that the video is free i also have a paid ebook but trust me just watch the video and then you'll know what to do there's going to be a minimum order most likely it's kind of expensive up front but trust me in the long run if you source garage sales or thrift stores or anywhere really being able to sell new and used dvds is extremely valuable i made this video because dollar trees are raising prices and a lot of people are saying oh no i can't make money anymore and that's just not true if you watch this video the things i talk about no matter what the price they're always going to be in demand and if you like evergreen content like this that helps you make money no matter what the market conditions are watch that video right there i think you're gonna like it thanks for watching and i'll see you later